One thing, guys, the E-type. Job to know which way to sort of um, attack this, really. It's had a... It's had a fairly good paint job. Um, it's had a, a nice pair of seats put in, as we all come to in a minute. It's got a good soft top on. Uh, it seems structurally quite sound. But there's still a lot of tidying up to do. Um, so, I don't know, still very much a project, I feel. Now, I've looked in here and I've had a good poke about and I can't see an engine number where it would normally be located on there. Uh, I've got a body number. Uh, where are we here? There we go. On the front there. Inside the bonnet is just a little tatty. Same on this side. There's been a little bit of a attempt at some making a look a little bit cleaner in there. Um, but there's still a fair bit of work to do at the front end there, I would suggest. Now the engine number I can find, ladies and gentlemen, is down there. Um, on that, uh, let me just try and give it here without it too much of a glare. On that bell housing down there. Hang on a sec. There it is, can you just make that number out? I photographed it as well, so you can you can do your checks. Uh, what have we got? We've got something like 7P6972, I think. Um, but zoom in on the photographs. I often just take a picture and then zoom in on the phone. It's amazing how much clearer it makes it. Um, so do your checks on that. Bear in mind, it does want, certainly wants an underbody, an under bonnet restoration, in my opinion. Uh, inside, a little bit of trim to finish off, but the expensive bit, the seats, centre console, door cards, dash is all quite sound, and the hood, that's all been taken care of. In the boot, with well, a fairly basic boot, aren't they? And it's, it's had a, a basic bit of carpet put in there. button back I bet um, and I haven't had a chance to, to play with the button on the door as of yet but that's stuck in um, so I've just left that for the time being and got on with just showing you guys the rest of the car in fact while I am here I'll just do two things firstly I'll just pop that lever back in there Secondly, I just, oh, here we are. Just see if it opens that way, and it has done, so that's handy. <clears throat> Sorry about the video footage. There you go, that's better. So, yeah, oh, door card. Oh, that door card. Look, good job, open that. That door card wants re-gluing. So, yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a funny one, really. So, it's just, I suppose, just what you would regard as a a very usable e-type or is it a platform and a base to take it to the next level um you know do you go the whole hog and convert it to right hand drive and while you're at it restore the engine bay new wheels big service you name it and the way you go i don't know or you can do that in the future perhaps couldn't you you could buy it for now get it mechanically sound so you can actually run it and use it and then perhaps in the future, if the way if the values keep um, going the way they are, then it would pay you to um, to think about taking it to the next level. But anyhow, there you are. So I will tell you what I must just add, even though it doesn't actually seem to be such a problem on this <coughs> video tonight. But uh, these cameras and phones uh, and so forth do um, pick up pigmentation um, coloration differences in panels and things. It exaggerates it terribly. You know, it makes a, a red car look pink. It's not pink. Um, and with the naked eye, there is no color change looking down the sides and things. So there you go. So hopefully that will give you a bit of an idea to what we've got. The next step, as we all know, is come and have a look. Um, the idea of the photographs and the video is just 
to let you know what we've got, then you can make a judgment as to whether it's worth traveling to see. Uh, main viewing period is that last week before the sales. Um, <clears throat> as I always say, that's when obviously the, the majority of the entries are with us, fingers crossed. Um, vehicles are parked up and stationary and, and, uh, and <laughs> there's, no, there's no risk of getting run over and so forth. So there you go. Hopefully it was, it's given you a bit of an insight to what we've got. And uh, if you think it might tip the box, come up and have a look.